So we wait about two weeks, right? I said, let's see how these, how these dummies want to play. I call my partner in Florida. I say, hey, my partner in Florida that play paper. I say, hey, man, they trying to run a play on me. He say, who? I said, man, you ain't going to never guess who. The damn school. He said, no. I said, yes, they are. What's good? What's good, man? Welcome back to Jack of All Trades TV. If you're new to the channel, make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe for me. Hit that notification bell. Also, uh, yeah, man. <laughs> Let me jump into this wild ass story for you right quick, man. So, I transferred from this HBC to this HBCU from a white institution, right? Uh, I graduated in 2020. I really supposed to graduate in 2018, but I'll tell you the reason why. It took two years <laughs> for me to graduate after that. So, I'm going to give y'all a brief little overview from the beginning, man. So, it can all make some kind of sense. So, y'all can see what I've been through. Uh, other people can vouch for this, too. Y'all y'all can comment below and let them know y'all stories, too. Because I know I ain't the only one <laughs> that it went through hoops of fire dealing with these people. So, uh, I transferred to this HBCU. Uh from a white institution. This is the oldest proclaimed HBCU, I believe, in East Texas. Uh, it may be in Texas, period. Uh, this is not Wiley College. Uh, I'm not gonna say their name. I ain't gonna say uh, no presidents or faculty name or nothing like that. I don't want them trying to come after me uh, for defamation because I know how they play, even though they is dumb. All right, went to this school, man. Did as much research as I could. Uh, I was young, a little dumb at the same time, uh, not knowing what to really look for when it comes to uh, looking for schools. This is why I tell a lot of young people that's coming out of high school, you know, when you're looking in this, into colleges, you know, make sure, you know, the, 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 the small things is, uh, is accommodated for you. And, uh, you know, just don't be so headstrong on what you're going there to go do or what they, uh, what they may be giving you a scholarship to go there to go do. So, uh, 2020, right? I'm, uh, I'm graduating. I had graduated already. Uh, got my cap and gown. We didn't have no, uh, no ceremony because y'all know pandemic had just jumped off, which is understandable, right? You know, you can't really control that. So, uh, and no, they ain't had no graduation until now. They ain't had a graduation all the way up until 2022. They ain't had one this year neither. So, uh, I didn't graduated the graduate uh well i guess the little ceremony they claimed they was gonna have or whatever i don't even know if they even did anything i don't think they did uh they ain't even have my name on the graduation list and i didn't have my cap and gown i didn't pay for everything all this different stuff right so all this stuff didn't pass it's about two months didn't pass by and on my uh account you know where you go and do your FAFSA and you know if you want to go and re-enroll for the next year and stuff like that you know you go into your little account and that's where all your information is so in that account how I got it set up is anybody who go in that account whether it's me a uh, family member my mother father whoever it's gonna give notifications and ding off and let let everybody know that's on the account right so uh, my mom called me one day she tell me uh uh, you, uh, you know, Texas, well, I ain't even gonna say, I can't say their name, so let me catch myself. She was like, you know, uh, this school didn't, um, they didn't actually, uh, apply for you to re-enroll for the next, uh, for the 2021 school year. I'm like, huh? She was like, did you do this? I'm like, nah, I ain't re-enroll. What I'm re-enrolling for? I got my diploma. I got, I got, I graduated. I got everything right here. Cap and gown, everything. Uh, so she's like, yeah, they didn't, uh, somebody didn't went in and they didn't reapply for you for the next school year. And, uh, I was like, okay. I was like, well, if they re, uh, reapplying for me for the next school year, then they're putting in for me to, uh, apply for financial aid. So I said, you know what, mama, let's just chill. Let's wait. Don't do nothing. Don't call nobody yet. Let's just see. And let's wait, sit back and see what they're going to do. I said, let's give them about two weeks. Let's see. Let's just see if they go in and correct it. Because it may, very well could be a mistake. And y'all known for making mistakes. If you go to this school, everybody that know me, if you go to this school or you 
uh, you done went to this school, you know you got to keep all your paperwork, keep all your information, because they'll be quick to tell you they ain't got something, especially when it come to money. And they'll be quick to take your money and what make you wait forever to get for you to give, get, get your money back from them. So we wait about two weeks, right? I said, let's see how these, how these dummies want to play. I called my partner in Florida. I said, hey, my partner in Florida that play paper. I said, hey, man, they're trying to run a play on me. He said, who? I said, man, you ain't going to never guess who. The damn school. He said, no. I said, yes, sir. And I said, I think they got a damn fool in there running plays, too. I said, man, I said, if they getting over, if they trying to pull this on me, just imagine all the people that don't have notifications set for their account to ding off and let them know if anybody then went in and did something for them. Because most black people that go to this school, they coming from the hood, they're poor. Most of them come from the, the, the most poor schools and the worst neighborhoods in Dallas. That's where they go and recruit for their students. And I ain't got nothing against them. I ain't got nothing, nothing against them, them students and people who come to this school. Man, there's people that come literally fresh out of jail and then came to this school. You feel what I'm saying? I'm just giving y'all an overview of the type of students that they accept here. And I ain't got nothing against them. They just, they come to this school trying to get their life together and get their stuff right. But unfortunately, the environments that they leaving from, they coming right to them coming to this school. Okay, so most of the people that come to this school, it's their first time. What's up, brother? It's their first time. Not much, man. Yes, sir. So uh, a lot of people, it's their first time coming to uh, to the, to you know a, a university. Probably they first they first person in their family uh, coming to 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 a university or a college and trying to get their degree, right? And uh, for a lot of them, also, it's their first time having their own room, their own bed. You feel what I'm saying? So. These are the type of people they accept in this school. And they wonder why the type of stuff go on at this school and why it carries such type of re reputation. But you, you got to look into who you who you, who you recruiting, right? And it ain't nothing against them. But anyways, I got to let y'all know that because you got to realize what we're dealing with here. I'm trying to paint a picture. So we wait around about two weeks, see what they going to do. Man, these folks, they got the check for $1,500 coming from the through the financial aid they didn't they didn't they didn't file this through the financial aid the government right so you know you getting financial aid that's money issued to you from the government okay so they basically scamming under my own name technically right so i said i'm just let them hang themselves if that the, if that's what they want to do and uh so uh they got the check processing right it hadn't fully processed all the way. This is like a week and a half until, and I'm just waiting. I'm saying, I'm just finna see if they really finna gonna, gonna cut this check and process it and, and cut it. So we wait. It's a, uh, this is like a Wednesday when we look. Come that Friday, this is up to about a week and a half. This Friday will make two weeks. So that Friday, check cut. Boom. I said, oh, oh boy. I said, I'm finna fuck around and be a rich man fooling with these dummies. I said, I wonder who they even got in here running this play like this, because I guarantee if they did it to me, they didn't did it to many other people that didn't graduated that just don't, you know, worry about going back into they, their account and checking it because you didn't graduate. What else you got to really worry about, you know what I'm saying, it's besides uh, paying off your student loans or whatever, your debts. These folks cut two $1,500 checks in my name for financial aid. They ain't call me, ain't notify me, ain't do nothing. I went and I went and uh put my lawyers on standby, right? Just in case we may have to act. You know what I'm saying? I really don't want to. Uh like I say, man, I just wanna get my diploma and get away from these folks. <laughs> I really did. And I'm gonna give y'all some overview of some other uh situations that happened but when I wrap this up. But man, so I end up calling up there. I called the uh who did I call? I called somebody that was over the um, financial aid. I called them like, hey, uh, I didn't graduate from uh, from y'all school. Got my cap and gown and everything, and I see y'all going back into uh, into my uh, my account, and y'all didn't reapply for me to enroll for the next 2021 school year. Why y'all doing that? Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh, it may be some type of situation or uh, mistake or something that's going on. Uh, let, let's give you a call right back. I said, all right, bet. 
I'm letting them, in my mind, I'm letting you hang yourself, right? I'm saying, I'm just gonna see how they really gonna play this. Phone call go off about five minutes later. Who it is? President. So let me give you a backdrop of this president. So, allegedly, this president was a president at another institution in Dallas. And he left there, allegedly, because he was finessing them over there, running them dry, running they well dry over there, finessing them and they bread, right? That's what allegedly what the rumor is. And I believe it too, because I done seen it for my own self at this institution. So, uh, man don't even speak, rarely even come around. Most uh, presidents, they don't usually show themselves on campus, but you gonna see them sometime. And when you do see them, like they gonna let themselves be known, hey, I'm the president, you know, be out actually functioning a little bit with the with their students, you know what I'm saying? At least sometime. Not saying you gotta do that all the time. That's what your assistance is for, right? So, man, this dude walk around like he uh like he a rooster in a hen house with his chest poked out. Don't nobody know who the hell he is. See this nigga any I don't know, every red moon on campus, and he walk around wanting respect from people and want to talk try to talk prestigious. But you 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 pulling this so i get a call from him uh hello mr english uh sorry for the uh, unfortunate circumstances uh we've handled it with the the comptroller that's over the uh, the financial aid and he's been fired so and so so and so you don't have nothing to worry about i'm like man look y'all want to play like this we can play right we can play we can play all day all i'm really asking for you is i want this off my account I want y'all to notify the government of this mistake so they don't be coming after me trying to make it seem like that I'm trying to finesse the IRS or the or financial aid, whoever it is, the government. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all scamming under my name. This gonna come back to me, make it look like I did this, right? So I'm letting him know all this. He's like, man, it's okay, it's okay. We're gonna get it understood, we're gonna get it taken care of. Woo -doo -woo -doo -woo. All right, so they got handled. I said, man, that's all I want. I don't want y'all, I, I just want everything off and then we can just leave it at that. I ain't really trying to come after him like that, bro. You know, it's HBCU. I love my HBCU, man, but the, uh, the, uh, the foolery with this money, this shit gotta stop. This shit gotta stop, bro. You robbing your own people, man. Now y'all go to them, them white institutions, y'all don't be trying to steal no money from them because y'all know what they gonna do. They gonna law you up on your ass and you gonna be going to jail. Now, there's a secret society that these people got. Well, I ain't gonna say a secret society, but there's a group that they got, or well, that they had. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's still there. This is what I noticed with them being there over, ex, over, over the time I was there. Like I said to y'all, we had niggas coming fresh out of jail, coming to this school and getting on the football team. We, half the football team, well, more than half, shit, 90% of the football team, we damn near playing for free. They ain't giving us no scholarships. You want five-star niggas to come play for your school, but you want to pay them $2,000 for a scholarship. What the hell is that going to do? This school, it costs more to go to this school. It's three colleges in this town, right? This school and two other institutions that's actually uh, funded by the state. This is a private institution because it's funded by the CME Church. These people charge more than it would to go to the community college that's here that actually has a recreation center has multiple dorms that are actually nice has campus police has uh all types of things for their students that they supposed to have at any university or college whatever you know what i'm saying the main basic things they ain't got no uh they got they they claim to get million dollar grants for this uh this school that i graduated from but that all they got to show for in the past, what, 200 years that y'all got one brand new dorm, dorm set up over there at that school. That's it. And it's only, what, three, four, three, four buildings on the campus? He got two buildings with classrooms? Man, it makes me just wonder where the bread is really going, bro. 200-year-old plus um, school, and it looked the way it looked. Man, you pull up to that school, you think you pulling up to a project. Real talk, and this project shit going on around that bitch too. I done seen people get stabbed there. I done seen a girl get stabbed there. I done seen people get beat up brutally there. I done seen people get robbed. It's killers there. It's dope dealers there. Everything, all walks of life is at that motherfucker. That's real talk, but that's what they recruit. And they wonder why so much crime 
and so much bad reputations and stuff like that happen at the school. It ain't nowhere for the students to go chill. It ain't nowhere for them to go uh, do anything recreational. No workout facility, no nothing. Football team, man, if y'all can remember, well, I'm 27, but when I was in middle school, we had uh, the lockers in the locker room for the football team with the holes in them, the little tan ones, had a little cubby up there where you lock it. Man, they still got them old ass uh, football lock locker room st uh, setups in there for us. Well, for them, I don't even go there no more. But man, it's just it's 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 ridiculous, bro. It's ridiculous. They don't put the money towards the places where they need them. You got choir members on there that's getting ten thousand dollar plus scholarships, but you can't give a ten thousand dollar scholarship to your uh, to your football players to uplift your program. That will uplift the school. We're the only HBCU in East Texas that has a football team. You don't think all these people out here gonna come out and see? But they can't do that because they losing every game. They ain't won three games in the past ten years. Real talk. I wish I would have knew this shit before I even jumped my ass over there in the boat with they ass. But I gave it a shot, man. I gave it a shot, but I, should, I couldn't do it no more. I couldn't do it. Boy, them some of the worst uh, Dallas football playing boys I never witnessed in my life playing with. Uh, and nothing against Dallas. I know y'all got some good players out there, man. But oh my God. But you, 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 you have to pay for who you want to get, right? Man. It's, it's, it's just sad all the way around. Just straight up all around crookedness, bro. And I look at the last video y'all did for this year's uh, ceremony. Y'all got the nerve to do a YouTube video with the most bare minimum production. I could have put this shit together. I'm just not really getting hip to a lot of this YouTube shit. But these niggas got the nerve to make a YouTube video and tell these folks with no excuse of why they ain't having no ceremony this year. But y'all come up with this half-ass video. President, he in the video, he photoshopped with the cap and gown. It's already, it's, it's already uh, cropped it into the video. He got his damn head. He in the, he got the cap and gown. It's still, but his head moving in the damn head part of the, of the, of the Photoshop. I'm like, boy, ain't this some shit? Y'all could have really kept this to yourself and not even gave them people nothing. Just said, man, we ain't having no ceremony this year. Here you cap and gown. Bye. Do whatever you do like y'all did us. It had been better off doing it like that, man. It ain't nothing but an extra double slap in the face. Then on top of that, y'all have a choir. A good choir at that that y'all spend a lot of money on. Y'all get them niggas 10,000 plus scholarships to go to that school. For nothing, practically. Y'all would rather get them that than get the football players or your basketball players to build your school up. That's going to bring money in, right? Not no goddamn choir. Ain't nobody coming to go listen to their ass. But they look good, though, and they sound good. So why in the hell would y'all incorporate someone else's gospel choir into y'all ceremony that's actually copyright? How dumb can y'all be? Now, I knew y'all was dumb when y'all was trying to run a play on me, but I, goddamn, shit. Niggas is really dumb. I'm talking about really just don't care. I hope that wasn't that Chinese boy y'all got over there that's over y'all IT program or that white man. If so, y'all need to hot man. A 15-year-old could have did a better production than that. Real talk. Let's call a spade a spade. It's just an extra slap in the face to the parents, bro. You got people, man, literally, bro, it's people that go to that school from all across this country, man. People from Puerto Rico, California, Canada, New York, everywhere. And you, and it just really mind blows me. I'm like, who the hell is the recruiter that's getting these people to believe that this is the institution that they want to come to? Now, don't get me wrong. I don't care what nobody say. Nobody in America can persuade me would tell me that it's another institution, a college institution in America that's easier than this school right here. That's one thing I will tell you, boy. Anybody can go to this school and they accept anybody. Killers, drug dealers, strippers. I'm telling you, they all there. Everybody. And accept them with open arms. Put this shit on YouTube, bro. Y'all know damn well all them, them kids, the students, their grandparents, everybody gonna go and watch the video and y'all gonna get paid off the views. Seriously. Y'all done made them folks pay for their cap and gown and all that stuff and you don't have no ceremony for them and you trying to get them again on the back end for the YouTube views? Oh, no. Not under my watch, nigga. I'm a hope. Boy, I hope whoever that is, I'm gonna do my best to find out whoever that that, that choir orchestra that y'all got playing in that damn video because y'all could put your own choir in there like y'all had them in there why did y'all put a choir that's not y'all's in the video and then put your own choir in there singing too why not just have your own choir in there the whole time 
slapping the face of them niggas too, huh? Or was y'all just that lazy to do the production? Really? You could have just left it alone, bro. I'm gonna try to find them people and see who that is. And I'm gonna notify them that y'all is still in their intellectual property. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give them to strike that channel. Hard than a motherfucker. I hope y'all don't ever get monetized. Mm-hmm. I've been flagging the channel for two days now. Well, actually, one day, because they just uploaded their last video 15 hours ago. But, uh, yeah, a bunch of bullshit. So, <laughs> yeah, y'all done stepped into my world of YouTube world now. I ain't finna let you win over here. Mm -mm. So, look, man, y'all know I ain't the only one that has been fucked over by this school. So, if you got a situation or a story, man, let these people know. Put it in the comments, bro. Because I really been curious to see if anybody else got done like I did. So, if you just graduated, y'all make sure y'all go check y'all accounts, man. Check your portal. Stay on top of it for about the next month or two uh, until they delete your 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 your, uh, your portal account and make sure that you can't get in no more because it's going to be a time where they're going to cut it off. So y'all hit that thumbs up, man, so we can keep the algorithm going for this video so we can get more truth and more light shed on this, man, because many people don't need to be sending their kids to this school when they're doing people like this, especially our own people. Y'all see how your own people do you? It's sad, man. It's sad. And I know this ain't the only HBCU that's operating like this neither. I didn't heard other stories. So even if you go to another HBCU and you done had a situation like this, man, let us know. One. I'm going to tell y'all like this. It was so much going on at the school at the time when I was there. It was a girl that was there that was trying to actually get people together that had similar situations and stories and stuff like that. Uh, along with hers to that way she can go to the board of the you know the committee and really you know contest it you know and not just be by herself y'all it works in numbers not just in ones and twos it gotta be numbers so if you're really trying to get a situation rectified or bring some shed some light on something that's going on at your school you gotta come in numbers it can't just be one person it can't just be two people it can't just be five you need about a good 20 people to where so it can be a a, a consistent track that it's something going on here and let's investigate it so yeah, man, let's make this thing right, bro. Uh, let's make it right, bro. Let's 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 shine some light on this shit, bro. This ain't cool. It ain't. It just ain't cool. And they gonna continue doing what they doing because they comfortable doing what they doing. Cause ain't nobody caught.